Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about something new and exciting from IOSafe. Now, for those that aren't aware, IOSafe is a NAS brand in the technical sense. What they do is they produce NAS and DAS devices that for business users that care about, let's face it, one of the biggest problems in data storage, and that is destruction. We can all talk about deleted files and going to data recovery services <coughs> where they do a bunch of software and rip some stuff off the disks. We can all talk about RAID protection that allows us if one of our hard drives dies that the system will pick it up. But that doesn't really help if your building's on fire. It doesn't help if you live somewhere where you're subject to floods. It doesn't help if basically you are against natural disaster. And that's where IOSafe have stepped in. Now, over the number of years, they've released a number of different NAS and DAS, so network attached storage and direct attached storage solutions that allow you to not only have protection from um, with USB backups and network backups and internet backups and RAID protection, but also protection from natural disasters. Now we feature them on the other YouTube a great deal, but the one I want to talk about today is a brand new exclusive device <clears throat> that we're going to get our hands on in a, just a, in a few weeks time. And today I wanted to preview it and give you guys an idea of what we are talking about. It is the IOSafe 1019. Now the 1019 Plus is the Synology 1019. The DS1019 uh, Plus from Synology, which has been around now for a few months, this is this NAS, but completely reinvented in a brand new chassis. They haven't just bunged it in a big old box. For those that watch my content on other IOSafe devices, and also those that saw my burn and drown test that we did a little while ago with help from what some of the guys at IOSafe will know, that these devices are rugged as hell. We're talking about a device here that can withstand 1,500 or so Fahrenheit for at least 30 minutes. We are talking about a device that you can submerge in up to 10 feet of water for days at a time and still recover your data. But we're also talking about a device that arrives with the hardware and support and abilities of a Synology NAS merged together. Don't get me wrong, it is a big bugger. Although we're only using images on this video, we will have the physical item in, in, in its entirety in just a few weeks' time. Now, this device here, it arrives in a brand new reinvented chassis. They haven't just, as I say, repackaged it. <clears throat> what they've done is remove what is core and rebuild the Synology DS1019 in this brand new kind of chassis. Now, for those that haven't watched my other videos on iSafe devices, the inside, they've got a patented and protected um, protect uh, sort of a bay that's inside that the drives live in and it has this foam that will expand and protect the drives over time as the environmental hazard um, takes hold then there's the external chassis with active cooling and all of the wires of course which in the event of a fire less so in drowning but definitely in the fire will be burned away and the ports will be damaged the device itself can critically shut itself down in the event of those problems as well as protect your data on those drives. And in the right rate configuration, you're gonna be absolutely safe. But what's more interesting is the idea that it also arrives with data recovery services too. So there's just another tier of many tiers of protection open to you with the OE 1019 from IOSafe. Now, because it arrives with the hardware and software of the DS1019 Plus, which I know a number of you have heard about, it's worth mentioning that almost all apart from one uh, feature of this device are available to you. So you've got that CPU, the J3455 Celeron 1.5 gigahertz CPU that can be burst up to 2.3 gigahertz per core. It also arrives with 8 gig of DDR3L memory. Uh, DDR3L memory being 1866 mega, uh, um, megahertz speed memory, which of course you can't really upgrade beyond that. So it's a couple of sticks of four. It's also got USB support, uh, USB ports on it, and multiple LAN ports too. But the one thing it doesn't have that the 1019 has is NVMe SSD bays. One, because I have absolutely no idea how they would get those inside those multi tiers of chassis. But moreover, for all the things you're gaining from this, I can see why it wouldn't be that much of a concern. Because in the event of a fire or event of um, this water submergence. It's not really worth packing that in and the increased price cost that you would have to include that NVMe SSD speed upgrade. Don't get me wrong, it is great SSD and of course you can use it for caching, but 
I think this is a device that doesn't really require it. And what the people that buy the ISF 1019, they're buying it for protection and long-term data security. Now, I know a number of you are thinking, I don't need that. It's huge. It's overpriced. It's it's not giving me what I want. I could just buy that device over there. And, yeah, and for you users out there, you know, if you don't even consider fire safety, water safety, or, or your data isn't that important, I can totally sympathize. But if... All of your data is make or break. If your business revolves around that data, if, and take a moment, think about tomorrow waking up and all of your data gone. If that is the end of the world for you and your business, this is something to consider. Because although you are backing up to the cloud, perhaps, maybe you're using Google Drive, Dropbox, or Synology C2, and you're backing up to all Backblaze off-site, then that's good for you. But you're still going to lose days getting that data back. You're still going to lose literal days pulling that data from a cloud server back onto your private server. And that data is still where it can be obtained. Don't get me wrong. On this device, inside your data inside, it's only as safe as the device. And of course, you need backups. And it's got encryption too, AES and I-level encryption. But this device is for people that want ultimate protection i can't stress that enough because no other than that no other nas that i've ever seen here on the channel on the blog at span ever other than the io saves have ever made me feel like this is ultimate protection like if a car hits it or if it's drowned or set on fire because don't get me wrong nothing is you know completely infallible and it can break but with the data recovery services built in too it is an all-round protection package and when people ask me about the ultimate protection for their business or say what's the perfect nas for me they're using the advice section on nas compares subtle plug but when they when they ask that question i will always recommend an io safe to people whose data is make or break because a fire only has to happen once submergence or a flood only has to happen once you know these things happen a lot easier than you think and that's why these devices are important with the expandability of Synology's NAS platform included in this device with BTRFS support and Synology hybrid RAID system SHR as well as the date recovery services of the IO safe system um, you know it arrives with two years you can upgrade it to five years along with traditional warranty and of course protection from fire flooding and more that is why i'm excited about this device we will be setting this device on fire and submerging it in water maybe not in that order but one way or another we will be featuring this on the channel and i'm as excited as i hope you are too thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video